Greetings, everyone, and a warm welcome. In this video lecture, I will discuss the topic concept and principles of growth and development. Let us first try to understand what is growth and development. Growth and development are two distinct but interconnected processes that occur throughout an individual's lifespan. While growth refers to the physical changes in size, structure, and quantity, development encompasses broader changes in psychological, cognitive, emotional, and social aspects. Growth Growth involves measurable and observable changes in the body. It includes physical aspects such as height, weight, muscle development, and the maturation of organs. An example of growth is the increase in height and weight during childhood and adolescence. Development Development is a more comprehensive concept that goes beyond physical changes. It includes advancements in cognitive abilities, emotional regulation, social skills, and overall maturity. Development is a lifelong process that continues even after physical growth ceases. Examples of Growth and Development 1. Physical Growth In early childhood, physical growth is evident as a child gains height and weight. This growth is accompanied by motor skill development, such as learning to crawl, walk, and manipulate objects. A child's increased physical abilities contribute to their exploration of the environment. 2. Cognitive Development Cognitive development involves the growth of mental processes, such as memory, problem-solving, and language acquisition. As a learner progresses through school, cognitive abilities mature. For example, a child learns to read and write, demonstrating advancements in cognitive skills. 3. Social-emotional development Social and emotional development encompasses the growth of interpersonal skills, self-awareness, and emotional regulation. A teenager navigating peer relationships and forming a sense of identity is an example of social-emotional development influencing the learning process. 4. Moral development As learners mature, they develop a sense of morality and ethical reasoning. This growth may manifest in a student's understanding of right and wrong, empathy for others, and the ability to make ethical decisions in academic and personal contexts. 5. Psychosocial Development Psychosocial development, as proposed by Eric Erickson, involves the resolution of various psychosocial crises at different life stages. For example, a high school student may experience the crisis of identity versus role confusion, influencing their choices in academic and career pursuits. Understanding the concepts and principles of growth and development is crucial for educators. It informs teaching strategies, curriculum design, and the creation of environments that support learners at different stages of development. Recognizing the interconnected nature of physical, cognitive, and socio-emotional aspects enhances the effectiveness of educational practices. Let me now discuss the various principles of growth and development. Principles of growth and development are fundamental concepts that guide our understanding of how individuals evolve physically, mentally, emotionally, and socially over time. These principles help educators, psychologists, and healthcare professionals to comprehend and support the various stages of human development. Here are some key principles, along with examples, cephalocaudal principle, development proceeds from the head, cephalic region, to the tail, caudal region. Example, in infancy, motor skills like head control and eye movement develop before the ability to control the lower parts of the body, such as crawling and walking. 2. Proximodistal principle Development occurs from the center, proximal, of the body to the extremities, distal. Example In early childhood, a child gains control over the muscles in the torso before mastering fine motor skills like using fingers to grasp small objects. 3. Principle of hierarchical integration Simple skills develop independently and later integrate into more complex actions. Example a child learns to roll over, sit, 
and crawl before eventually integrating these skills to stand and walk. 3. Principle of Independence of Systems Different systems of the body develop at different rates. Example, cognitive development may progress independently of physical growth. A child may understand abstract concepts before having the physical ability to perform certain tasks. 4. Principle of Interdependence of Systems Various aspects of development are interconnected and influence each other. Example, Emotional well-being can impact cognitive development. A child experiencing emotional distress may have difficulty concentrating in school. 5. Principle of Plasticity The degree to which traits or abilities can be modified or altered by environmental factors. Example, early intervention programs can positively influence a child's cognitive development even if they face initial challenges. 6. Principle of Individual Differences Each individual is unique and will develop at their own pace. Example, two children of the same age may reach developmental milestones like walking or talking at different times. 7. Principle of Continuity Discontinuity Development is viewed as a gradual, continuous process or as a series of distinct stages. Example, Piaget's stages of cognitive development represent a discontinuous view, with distinct stages like the sensorimotor stage and the concrete operational stage. 8. Principle of Universality Context Specificity Some developmental principles are universal, while others are culture-specific. Example, while language acquisition is universal, the specific language spoken by a child will depend on the cultural context they are raised in. 9. Principle of Learning Development involves acquiring and refining skills through learning and experience. Example, a child learns to ride a bike through a process of trial and error, practice, and guidance from others. Thank you everyone. If you're passionate about education and teacher training, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.